Hey guys, if you've been wondering about all those secret cuts from the butcher that you've seen videos for, this is the video for you. Hey guys, I am Steve from Cookout Coach. We're all about trying to help you take your barbecue to the next level. Now if that sounds like something you need in your life, hey go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Now today, we're going to do a five cut shootout of the secret cuts your butcher keeps for himself versus the ones that we know and love. So let's get into this. I wanted to let you know that all the meat provided today is from Matador Prime Steak. And they've also given us a discount code. So a link to both Matador Prime Steak and the discount code will be in the description below. So I decided to do a five cut shootout today. And the five cuts we're going to do are the filet, the ribeye, picanha, tri-tip, and hanger steak. You and I know and love both the filet and the ribeye. However, I feel like over the past year I've seen video after video about the hanger steak, the picanha, the tri-tip being those secret cuts that the butcher keeps from himself, and I wanted to know how good they are. So since this is a shootout, we're going to keep today super simple, and I mean minimal trimming on our meat. And to season, all we're going to use is kosher salt. The method we're going to use to cook this steak today is we're going to do a reverse sear. Because of the differing sizes of the cuts, I wanted to make sure one didn't get done way ahead of another one. So we're going to reverse sear these, bringing them up to an internal temperature of 115 degrees on a 275 degree grill. And we'll finish them to a medium rare, pulling them off between 125 and 130 on a grill that's running about 600 degrees. And we do that on our egg corn by setting both the top and bottom vent at the three number. A little side note of this. These are very special cuts of meat. They're very rare, they're hard to find in my area. I really recommend if you're gonna cook these, don't go above a medium. I prefer a medium rare. It's really gonna bring out the essence of this beef. Once your meat is seared to that medium range, go ahead and get it off and let it rest for at least five minutes before you cut into it. And now, it's time for our blind taste test with a special guest. All right guys, so our meat has been cooked, seared, we've cut it. It's over there being organized by another party so that we don't know what it is. And now I get to introduce my first guest on the Cookout Coach channel. This is my buddy Chris. Chris, how you doing? I'm doing good, I'm excited to be here. All right, you ready to eat some steak? I'm ready to eat some steak. All right, so the way this is gonna work is while we've got all five cuts cut up and ready to go, another party is going to be putting the steak on a fork, handing it to us, and it's going to be a blind taste test. We'll give you our thoughts, we'll make a guess of what we thought was the best one, and then we'll see how the results turn out. How's that sound? Let's get our meat on. <laughs> okay, so first one, remember Chris, just go ahead and give it a bite, and we'll talk about how it tastes after we're done. Work. So that one to me had an extremely good texture. Uh, it wasn't overly beefy, the sear was good, but mainly what jumped out to me was the texture. Good texture, <clears throat> very flavorful, um, not a lot of chewing, but uh, but also not as soft as a filet. Yeah. Really good. I'd almost call it velvety though. Ve very velvety. All right, so on to number two. All right, number two. So that one, it's funny, and it's something I never thought about before, but that one to me, felt like it absorbed more of the charcoal uh, flavor, it, and it puts me in the mind of the ribeye. Just That's what I think of when I think of ribeye. I would agree. I thought, I thought it was a little tougher, a little tougher than I like with my steaks, but really good, very good beef flavor. Yeah, I feel like it had a lot of grill flavor on it. Yeah, absolutely. Where the, other, the first one didn't necessarily have as much grill flavor. I ate a plate of it if I saw it. <laughs> All right. All right, sample number three. All right, so number three, I thought number one was the filet. Number three has to be the filet. That was the softest steak. 
That was so good. So tender, so ju oh, so juicy. I mean, that was just an excellent cut of meat. Yeah. Again, sort of like the first one, not a huge beef flavor, not a grill flavor like the second one, but such a velvety texture, so soft. Oh, yeah, delicious. All right. All right, Cheers. number four. All right, so Chris, that one to me, it was kind of like what I think of a ribeye, but that beef flavor was way more pronounced on that. Strong beef flavor. It was the perfect, uh, the perfect consistency. Not too chewy, not too soft. I, I think it was the best so far. Yeah, it, it's sort of hard for me to describe it, but just the way the the fibers broke down while I was chewing on it, it it was either the hanger steak or it was the spinalis off of a ribeye. I'm not sure, but it was that kind of. Spinalis is a big word. I don't know what that means, but I know it was delicious. It means the good part. Yes. <laughs> All right, Chris. It's been fun. Last time. Let's do it. Number five to me is the least tender, but at the same time, it's the most dense cut of meat. Like just be, I'm I'm saying it was the least tender, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. There was a lot going on there. It reminded me of like a roast, a really good roast. Very good, very flavorable. Definitely a little tougher, but delicious. Absolutely. Before they reveal to us what they've just fed us, we got to call out which one you think is the best and why. Now I'll go ahead and go first. Uh, to me, number four was definitely the best. Like I said, it sort of sort of reminded me of a ribeye, but it had the beefiest flavor. Uh, how about for you, Chris? Four hands down. That was the best. Uh, I, th I think that was the best. I think I liked uh, two as well, but four hands down, best of all. All right. Okay, so as you guys just saw, uh, we both agreed that the hanger steak was our favorite cut in the secret cut steak shootout. Definitely, and I, I look forward to uh, enjoying some more hanger steak in the future, so long as the cookout cook can provide the expertise. But we can do it, just like we can for you. So hey, if you guys need to take your barbecue game to the next level, we can help you do that. But till next time, y'all take it easy. Man. <laughs> you guys, go ahead and cut that up and whatever, right? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. And if it gets cold, that this one is still like oven temp. So if you want to reheat anything, or take... This is like a piece of pie based meat. <laughs> I mean, that's what it's all about, really. Oh. Hey, God! <laughs>